I'm thrilled to be back with the incredible heroes and patriots of the Fraternal Order of Police. And as your president, I will always back the blue, as I did. I back the blue more than any other person. I was not a defunder like Kamala. She was a defunder. She was a 10-year defunder. Before we begin, big news today is that the Manhattan DA witch hunt against uh, me has been postponed because everyone realizes that there was no case because I did nothing wrong. It's a witch hunt. It's a, an attack by my political opponents in Washington, D.C. And uh, comrade Kamala Harris and radical left <laughs> opponents for purposes of election interference. That's all that was. The day I take office is the day that Kamala's crime wave comes to an end. It's a crime wave in our country. We've never seen anything like it. And frankly, you know, we talk about all of the, the problems that we have, and they list them, and usually the economy is number one. And to me, the number one thing that I get spoken to by the people, and I meet so many people, is crime. Over the past four years, Kamala Harris and the radical Democrat Party have led a war on law enforcement in America. They're against you so strongly. As a result, families that do everything right and carry this country on their shoulders have watched helplessly as their communities dissolved all around them. She's right now practicing. Do you know that? She's in Pennsylvania, and she's practicing for the debate. She's locked herself in a room. She's got a lot to learn. She's locked herself. <laughs> in a room, and they have one problem. You know what the problem is? They have MAGA people outside screaming, we love Trump, we love Trump, we love Trump, and they can't focus. Can you believe it? But no crime Kamala has committed against the rule of law is worse than her nation-wrecking border invasion. There's never been anything like it. I think allowing 21 million plus, plus, plus people to come in from places unknown I think it's, uh, I really think it's probably the hardest thing to solve, and it's the worst thing that's happened to our country. But they've invaded our country, and as I said, they came from the prisons and the jails and the mental institutions, and more terrorists than we've ever seen come into our country. As we speak, heavily armed Venezuelan gangs have taken over entire apartment buildings and apartment complexes in Aurora, Colorado terrorizing the residents. They're taking over. In the old days, you had to pay to buy that building. They, they just take it over. Oh, the people are living in such fear. They've, they've left. Under Border Czar Harris, we are being conquered. We're being actually conquered, if you think of it from within. But as soon as I'm back in the White House, the conquest will end, and the great liberation of America will begin. And you're going to be the ones leading the pack.